First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hopefully elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations. It may look like the other heathen nations. It's what resonates with you. Then your lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, how what? He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, how Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is when we are waiting for the coming of these last days, and we are in the last of the last days. Okay? And with that being said, this is the right from the Detroit camp. In the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I hope this will be an edifying short lesson. Okay? Because we are in those days in which Esau, Edom, the self proclaimed white men, originally bacon families, are setting up their evil, wicked enterprise, which is Revelation 13. Okay? The sea hill. And if you take it, Revelation 14 and 9, this is how you will be destroyed by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. The thermonuclear missiles will destroy you. All right? And with that, I'm going to start off with a scripture. Okay? And it's going to be uh, Psalms. 75, and we're going to start at the first verse, because these other nations, Esau, Edom, especially Esau, Edom, Revelation 12 and 12, okay, they're getting these horns that's about to come out, and these other nations are linked up with them, okay, but at the end, in the end, all will be destroyed, lift up not your horn. On high, speak not with a stiff neck, for promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of the heavenly Father Yahweh, there's a cup, and the wine is red, it's full of mixture. And he poured it out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Okay, starting first and foremost with Esau, Edom. You're going to drink the cup of the Heavenly Father's, Yahweh's indignation, his righteous anger. Okay, and NLT, the same words, for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh holds a cup in his hand that is full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours out the wine in judgment, and all the wicked must drink of it. Okay, you're draining it to the dredge. You're going to drink it every last drop of this. Because you are the wicked. Okay? Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. If not where and who is he? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Also, you can go to 2nd Exodus 6 and 9. Okay? That represents the end. Who's ruling at the end, which is Esau Edom. Okay? Let's get to this story right here, okay? It says, this is on, uh, I, I think, News Nation, I'm sure. And it says, the National Transportation Safety Board launched an investigation into the collapse of the bridge. A media briefing will take place later in the day, okay? Well, let me get to it, to the beginning. Let's get to it, to the beginning. To like it, bear with me. Because these nations think they're going to rule. That they got next, they don't have next. Baltimore, news nation. Okay. Search efforts are underway for possible survivors after a cargo ship lost power and struck Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge early Tuesday morning, causing the bridge to snap and plunge into the river. Okay. The 
plunged into the river below. Okay, now let's see. The ship crashed into one of the bridge, bridge of supports, causing the structure to break apart. It tumbled into the water in a matter of seconds. The vessel caught fire and thick black smoke billowed out. Okay. Never would you think that you would see physically see the key bridge tumble down like that. It looked like something out of an action movie, said Baltimore Mary, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, calling it an unthinkable tragedy. Okay. A list of major U.S. bridge collapses caused by ships and barges. It's not clear what caused the ship to crash, but Maryland Governor Westmore said the ship's crew was notified of a power loss on the vessel before the crash. The ship's crew also issued a mayday that allowed officials to clear the bridge. That remind me of a movie that we see. Okay. It is not clear what caused the ships to crash, but Maryland Governor Westmore said the ship's crew was notified of a power loss on the vessel before the crash. The ship's crew also issued a mayday that allowed officials to clear the bridge of cars, Moore said. These people are heroes. Okay, let's finish. These people are heroes. They save lives, the governor said. Other people on the bridge who stopped traffic from crossing it. Okay. What's that movie? Don't uh, uh, don't look behind. I think that was the name of it. When that ship came up on shore, when they were on the beach, because it lost all its navigation. Authorities said sonar had detected cars in the water, which is about 50 feet deep. Baltimore City Fire Chief James Wallace told CNN that authorities marked three passenger vehicles, a cement truck. And the fifth vehicle submerged in the water via infrared and side scan sonar. Technology. It added that eight dive teams are performing search and rescue operations. However, it's unsure if the fifth car is a passenger or work vehicle. Baltimore Police Commissioner Richard Worley said there's absolutely no indication the ship struck the bridge. On purpose, okay. That's what they're saying. It's not uh, uh, pur- it wasn't purposely done. As they're concerned, as the indications so far. Speaking from the White House Tuesday morning, President Joe Biden echoed those sentiments, stating there's no indication the collision was an international act. Okay, and this is what they're saying. Okay, he pledged that the federal government will pay the full cost. To rebuild the bridge. It's my intention that the federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge, and I expect the Congress to support my effort, Biden said. Okay. Biden plans to visit the Baltimore as quickly as I can. He didn't provide specifics on how he plans to visit. Biden was promised to promise a large response from the federal government, adding that he has spoken with more. Okay, I'm trying to get to this a point I seen earlier. Okay, let's see. Moore said the preliminary, preliminary investigation indicates it has it was an accident, saying we haven't seen any credible evidence of a terrorist attack. Notice they're saying terrorist attack. So these things are you know going to come on it to wag the dog, you know, uh, uh, setting up their order out of chaos. I haven't, you know, really investigated this story, but I'm just, you know, uh, making a guess, you know, as of right now, okay, and, and until it could be proven, proven different, you know, in the coming days, okay. Earlier, Whitefield said that the FBI found no connection to terrorism related to the incident. I was watching local news today. That's the first thing that came spewed out of their mouth. Well, was it an act of terrorism? That's the first thing, because the people are afraid. The people are afraid, you know. And then also, their setups being done, okay? Earlier, Weedenfield said that the FBI had no connection 
found no connection to terrorism related to the incident. More added that the bridge was fully up to code and had no structural issues. Okay, so they're saying there's no, no terrorists. That's been credible, filed credible. Kevin Cartwright, Director of Communications for the Baltimore, Baltimore City Fire Department, told the Associated Press early Tuesday that several vehicles on the bridge at the time included one in the size of a trailer, a tractor trailer truck. The collapse happened in the middle of the night when traffic would be lighter than during the day. Okay. Waterfield said about 35,000 people use the bridge daily, and authorities are working to find alternative route options. Okay. You know, these people, though, started first at Esau Edom. They want to want to sort their horns because they know, uh, that's in Revelation 2012, they know they got a, but a short time. And I'm just using this. Uh, article to point that out and how things are speeding up and how Yah in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh side these things are happening whether they're set up through Esau Edom or not. These things are happening. Okay? Because they're trying to uh, uh, rule over you so called niggas Latinos and Native Americans, okay? Which are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. Okay. But they're gonna have collateral damage in the mix. Okay, but they cannot rule a kingdom that they destroy, and they continue destroying the earth. Okay, they leave space debris up in the in the atmosphere. Okay, and up in space, floating around, they pollute everything they touch, feel, and hear. The water is gone, and the food, the animals, the grass, the trees, everything is being polluted. Okay, because they are the wicked. Okay, they was given. You know this world. You know Job nine twenty four. No, they were so favored by Yahweh Bash and Yahusha, but they cannot do righteousness. Okay, they can't do it. It's impossible. They weren't created for that. Proverbs twenty seven and one. Okay, Proverbs twenty seven and one. They can't do righteousness. This world's not for them. Warnings and instructions. Boast not thyself of tomorrow. For thou knowest not. It's lucky. But thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Okay? So that's why we don't boast of tomorrow. We boast, you know, we don't boast of tomorrow. Nor is a day. We just take care of what's, what has to be done today. Okay? Proverbs 27 and 1. Okay. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Okay. Now let's go to Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Most High Yahweh, as the rivers of water. He turneth it but the soever he will. Okay. And I'll see the king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Most High Yahweh. Okay. He guides it wherever he pleases. Okay? Jeremiah 51. I'm just hitting a couple of precepts. Jeremiah 51. <coughs> I like it. Babylon judged for sins against Israel. Thus said, the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, said, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that raise up against me, and a destroying wind, which is the thermal nuclear missiles, okay? And I will send it to Babylon fanless, that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, that shall be against her round about, okay? Foreigners will come, and when now her, blowing her away, I shall. They will come from every side to rise against her in her dead trouble. You see that's happening. Look at the borders, the southern borders. Okay, Amnon, Moab, all of them coming through that border along with the, the southern kingdom, you know. You got Haitians coming from, from, from Haiti over here. They're trying to stop. Now they're trying to stop. Okay, this place is being flooded. Okay, it's being flooded. 
because this is the place where the salvation is going to take place, most of it. This is where Jake is at. This is where the southern and northern kingdom are at. This is where the two believers are at. This place is a judgment and end of salvation. Okay, and that time is coming. So like that time is coming. Okay. Jeremiah 51 and 3. Against him that bended, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spared ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. Other heavenly fellow Yahweh of hosts, though their land be filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, deliver every man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the heavenly father Yahweh's vengeance. He will render upon her a recompense. Babylon had been a Babylon had been a golden cup in the heavenly father Yahweh's hand that made all the earth junket, the nations have junket of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And these nations are getting ready to come against Babylon, the great spirit of Sodom and Egypt, a.k.a. America. All right? They're getting ready to come against you. Okay? Back to the story. We the field said about 35,000 people used to bridge daily. And the authorities are working to fire alternative route options. Synergy Marine Group which owns and manages the ship, called the Dolly, confirmed the vessel hit a pillar of the bridge at about 1.30 a.m. Now, let me go on to that word, Dolly, okay? Let me go on to that word, Dolly. See if I can get it. It's a lot of Hit this news story again. D-A-L-I So let me try it right here Let's see what it means I know that this represents a goddess, so I'm going to punch it in. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now, I, I find it strange that the uh, insurance, let's get that back, let's get that back. Synergy Marine Group, which owns and manages the ship called the Dolly. That's the name of the ship, the Dolly. Okay. Now let's see what this name is. Dolly. Also, the L or De El Georgian is a goddess from the mythology of the Georgian people of the Caucasus region. She is a hunting, a hunting goddess 
who serves as the patron of hoofed wild mountain animals such as ibexes and deer. Hunters who obeyed her numerous taboos were to be assured of success in the hunt. Conversely, she would harshly punish any who violated them. She is most prominently attested to the stories of the Svan ethnic subgroup in northwestern Georgia. Other groups in western Georgia have similar figures considered equivalent to Dali, such as the Domingrillian goddess Taxi Mapa. Okay. See that? That blonde hair? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Dali is depicted as friend artist Vectang Oniani from the Georgian translation of the Sram ballad, Javergio. Okay? She was usually described as a beautiful new woman with golden hair and glowing skin, although she sometimes took on the form of her favorite animals, usually with some marking to def differentiate her from the herd. She was said to reside in a cavern high in the mountains where she kept watch over the hoof game animals who lived on the cliffs. Dally was styled with a variety of regional epithets, reflecting her different roles and associations. Stories of the Sven people depicts her taking human lovers and killing them out of jealousy, giving birth to sons such as the culture hero Amarani and later clashing with her rival, St. George. Some myths depict her working alongside other forest deities, and she is sometimes accompanied by the legendary hunting dog, Coercia. After the rise of Christianity in Georgia, Dali's importance as a goddess waned. Okay? She was reflected in changes to stories told about her. St. George was presented as having the power to overrule her, and she began to be conflated with the malicious nature spirit called the alley. Many authors have described parallels between Dali and stories from other mythologies as a patron of the hunt associated with hoof beasts. She, uh, she has been compared with Artemis, of Greek mythology, a Scottish hag called the Glastig and the maiden who tames the unicorn. Her associations with gold, seduction, and the morning star have led scholars to draw connections with goddesses such as Aphrodite and Ishtar, who have similar mythological themes. Her stories remain an important part of Gregorian cultural consciousness, and she is often referenced with eponyms and literary el allusions. Although younger people treat her as a figure for mythology, some older hunters still consider her to be a real figure one might encounter deep in the forest. Okay? You see that? See the figures and possessors in the front of Trilletti Chalice. Dali is attested primarily in surviving pieces of Svan folklore, myths, ballads, and round dance songs. Linguistic anthropologist Kevin Tooley regards the surviving test as fragmentary, representing but a tiny fraction of the test. So this is what this ship is named after. Okay? This is what this ship is named after. Let's read on. Synergy Marine Group, which owns and manages the ship called the Dali, confirmed the vessel hit a pillar of the bridge at about 1.30 a.m. while the control of one or more pilots, who are local specialists who help navigate vessels safely into port. It said all 22 crew members, including two pilots, <laughs> On board were accounted for, and there were no reports of any injuries. The company told News Nation an experienced captain was on board and the crew 
members are Indian. Okay? So, and this, then I'm going to get some scripts, some more scriptures. Give me a second. Newsday to confirm Synergy Marine Group will fly two people to meet with the U.S. Coast Guard at the site around 2.30 p.m. One of them is an ex-Coast Guard member who will be there on behalf of the company M Maersk, okay, or Maersk, Maersk, who charters the ship as well as Grace Ocean Private LTD, the ship's owner and insurers, okay. So, let's see what else I got. They don't want no drones flying around. Okay, you get this little piece. At this time, the U.S. Navy has not received any requests to support, but stand ready if the assistance is required. The Department of Defense official told News Nation. Okay, and, I, and I, I, I think I heard them say that that was a major uh, uh, seaway. Uh, or whatever for uh, products and things. Okay. We shouldn't even be having that discussion right now, Scott said, please for people to focus on the victims of the collapse. There will be a time to discuss a bridge and how to get a bridge back up. He added that some cargo appeared to be dangling from the bridge with spans. Yeah, got some cargo, okay. Had some cargo. <laughs> Dangling on a bridge with spans the Patasco, the, the Patasco River at the entrance to a busy harbor. The river leads to the Port of Baltimore, a major hub for shipping on the East Coast. Opened in 1977, the bridge is named for the winter of the Star Spangled Banner. For the writer of the Star Spangled Banner. And we all know his name. Uh, Scott Key Francis, I think I'm pronouncing it right. And you know, uh, all these things is, is interconnected in some type of way, and which is scriptural, you know, because that's what we were taught, you know. And so, with the BRICS nations and all this going on and the de dollarization, you know, American money, all right, the USD dollarization, these, these, these BRIC nations and all these other nations, they're coming against this place, okay. So these people here, the wicked, the rich and elite banking families, okay, the self clay white man, all the have KO, all of this, these things are going to happen, okay? So they could implement the enterprise, okay, which is the NWO, okay? So right, 10 and 4. So about 10 and 4, I got to clear some of that up. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 4, the 1611 Apocrypha Bible. And let's see. And the name for it is Sirach. So Sirach 10. And we can go to the fourth verse. And the reads. Let's start at the verse 3. Now let's start at verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all that all they that dwell there. This place is wicked, okay? It's the spirits of Sodom and Egypt. Same thing they done back in Sodom, they're doing it now. Man or man, woman or woman. They don't think they're gonna be judged for, but they're getting judged, okay? And yet they're still trying to be at the top. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his office. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell there. Everybody is wicked here. Everybody. Everyone. Government and otherwise. Verse 3. An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them, which are the authority, the city shall be inhabited. Verse 4. 
The power of the earth is in the hand of the heavy father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh's side. In the due time, he was set over it, one that is profitable. And that due time is now. Okay? That due time is now. Okay? Second Ezra 4 and 37. Okay? That due time is now. Second Esther, chapter four. We're gonna go to verse thirty-seven. Get to the point. By measure hath he measured the tithes, okay? And by measure hath he numbered the tithes, and he doeth not move nor stir them until that said measure is fulfilled. And it's being fulfilled as we speak, okay? You saw Edom's time is up, okay? His time is up. It's coming to an end. This rulership is over. Okay? It's going to be up on the righteous judgment. Now, as as uh, Ezra asked uh, uh, Angel Uriel in 2 Ezra 6 and 9. Okay? Isaiah 46. Almost finished. Isaiah 46. And 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am the most high Jehovah. And there is none else. I am the heavenly father Yahweh by the Yahweh side. And there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the times that are not yet done, saying, My counsel will stand and I will do all my pleasure. Okay? Now he's doing all his pleasure. Okay? You wicked and Lee Baker finally think you're doing this and you're doing the order out of care. No. You're just actors on the field doing what you're supposed to be doing. Everyone is. Everybody. It's in their lives. Okay? Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high Yahabashim Yahabashim. There's none else. I am Yahabashim Yahabashim. And there's none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Say, my counsel will stand, I will do all my pleasure. And this pleasure is to put this kingdom in the righteous kingdom. The, 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 this kingdom was given to him. All right? Just like it was given to Esau Edom. But it's going to be taken away. By the only father Yahabashim Yahabashim. Okay, Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19. And I'm going to go to verse 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise at the later year. For you chase out there. Hear this counsel. Hear the counsel from Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. Teach some prophets on down. Like minded counsel teaching the 100% truth. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise at the latter year. We are at that latter year. Okay? We are at that latter year. Verse 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the heavenly father, Yahweh, will buy some Yahweh's side. That will stand. Nothing else. Nothing else but the counsel of the heavenly father, Yahweh, will buy some Yahweh's side. That will stand. All right? That will stand. Daniel 4, 17. Daniel 4. 17. Nevertheless, lead a stump of the roots. Now, this is dealing with the tree. Okay.
Matter of fact, hit the blue letter. Daniel 4 and 17. And as you see the header, the king acknowledges the most high never chat lesson. Okay, let's go down to the 17th verse. And there's the let's see. The vision of a great tree. Let's, let's, let's read that, Daniel 4 and 4, and I'm going to jump. Never tried to was I rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts upon my bed, and the vision of my head troubled me. Therefore, made I a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me, that they might make known to me the interpretation of the dream. Then came in the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. And I told the dream before them, but they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. But at the last, Daniel, he was a prophet, oh, yeah, so like, Daniel came in before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, okay? According to the name of the Most High Yahweh, and whom is the spirit of the holy powers, okay? And before him, I told the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, uh, uh, Master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in thee, and no secret trouble at thee. Tell me the vision of my dream that I have seen, okay? And the interpretation thereof. Okay, he knew he was a man of the most high God, a prophet, a seer, okay? And what? The scriptures say, uh, his secrets are given to his servants, the prophets, okay? But if we paraphrase it, verse 10. Thus were the visions of my head and my bed. I saw, and behold, a tree in the midst of the earth, and the height thereof was great. Verse 11. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached into heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. Verse 12. The leaves therefore were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and then it was meat for all. The beasts of the field had saddled under it, okay? And the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bowls thereof, and all the flesh were fed of it, okay? I saw the vision of my head upon my bed, and behold, I watch it. And the Holy One came down from heaven. He cried aloud and said thus, Hew down the tree and cut off the branches, cut off his branches, shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it, okay? And the fowls from his branches. Nevertheless, lead the stump of his roots in the earth, even with the brand, a band of iron and brass. Okay, in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let its portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth. Let his heart be changed for man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven tides pass over him. Okay, which means a complete number. Verse 17, the point, this matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the beast, the basis of men. Okay? The basis of men. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh he gives over to the earth for whomever he gives it to. Okay, that's why this, a righteous kingdom is coming. Okay. Now, uh, there's another scripture I was looking for. Now, because this kingdom was given over to Esau, and now his, his time is over with, okay? His time is done. All right. And with that, let's go to Ecclesiasticus 44. Okay. 
Book of Sirach 44. Do it in it. Book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 44. And we're going to go to uh, 19. And it reads, starts the 17th verse. Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was taken in his change for the world. Okay? So Noah was taken in his change for the wicked. Okay? They represent the elect. Therefore was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. That's what the remnant, another word for the elect is called. It was 18. An everlasting covenant was made with it, that all flesh shall perish no more by the flood. And you see that by that rainbow to be in the sky, giving you a reminder. But the wicked turned that into an abomination, as he does everything of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, because he's a profane man. Okay? Verse 19, Abraham was a great father of many people, and glory there was none like unto him. Okay? There's none likened to him, okay? None likened to him. Who kept the law of the Most High, the Habashim House, I was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh. And when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in the sea and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and caused them to inherit from sea to sea and from the river unto the uttermost parts, the utmost parts of the earth. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake the blessing of all men in the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him a heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes did he part them. Okay? So that's who's going to be ruling. That's who the earth is going to be given into. It's going to be taken away from the wicked. And it's going to be run to righteousness. Okay? It's going to run, be run in righteousness. In the last scripture, the second Ezra. Ezra 7 verse when Ezra was asking the angel Uriel who will be that time whenever that time come and you think you're going to know who's ruling right now and knowing that we are at the end okay second Ezra 6 and 7 then answer I and said what shall be the party asunder of the ties or what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it Verse 8, and he said to me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau was born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the begin beginning of it that follow it. Okay? So this is, the, we at the end. All right? Second Ezra 6 and 9 for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And with that, the water to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Sai, Bahashim Bakatu Das, who allowed me to bring this out. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Sai, Bahashim Bakatu Das, that will honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And with that, Shalom.